Hey everyone, so today we are heading out on a dog walk um, with Tilly and Tabby and then we're going to go meet up with Gypsy who is Tilly's hmm, Tilly's cousin and Tabby's second cousin I think if I've got the relationships right and yeah so I thought I'd take the vlog camera um, it'd be Tabby's first big day out um, so she'll have to be carried quite a lot because she can't walk that far yet um, but I thought I'd take the camera and document it anyway both girls are in. They are strapped in. She's just cheeky. <laughs> yeah, we've gone on an adventure, Tabs. Mama and baby. Come on. Ah, she's just taking it all in. Taking in all the sniffs. Good girl. So we've come to style. One of our favourites. Matilda! Hello! just come to the cafe, Erlums, and we're just going to get some dinner and I've got the babies with me, here's Tilly and Tabby's under there and Gypsy is just over there um, there's Gypsy, she's waiting for her mum and we're just going to get some dinner and then we'll be heading home Tabby's just eating her dinner, she's done really well you want any more? she didn't, um, she didn't swim like I thought she might but Tilly did Hello princess. Tilly's brought half the walk home with her. Haven't you Tills? Tabby's gone for a cool down under the bench. You having a good time Tabs? She enjoyed it but she just got a bit tired towards the end. Which is understandable. Good girl. We're doing garden maintenance. Hannah and Dad are trying to pull this dead tree out of the pond. I was hoping one of them would fall in. Doesn't look likely. Yeah. We're breaking. We're breaking. It's come quite far. It used to be alive this plant, but it's dead now, so it needs to go. How did nearly fell? Where's it going? Mum's. Um, Mum's planting pond lilies. They're going to go in the broke. pond. One's broken, so we're going to get that one replaced. And then you put gravel on top of the aquatic compost. And then we sink these baskets into the pond. Then we should have some pond lilies, which should make, if you can see the water, is a little bit of a green colour. It'll make it clear. So it should aerate the water. And we should have crystal clear water, so it says. And then I am painting the planter. So this is the planter and I've just got my compost to put in it. Just painting it green, if you can see I'm halfway through, because I'm gonna paint the sealers on, just to make it blendy with everything behind, because it's so green that fence now. This is all the stuff we planted, maybe last year or the year before, I think it was locked down here, this is all our mint. Uh, we've got some forget-me-nots over here, we've got some lavender. Mum will tell you what the other bushes are called, because I can't remember the names of them, but we've got some really nice plants growing here, and then, I can't remember what these are. I think we dragged these out of the pond when we cleared the pond um, and replanted them here and they've all grown. They're stilly. 
and now in here I'm going to be putting um, some of it's dead um, but my strawberries are here I'm going to replant all them uh, there's a couple of plants in here and I'm going to put all new compost in I'm going to plant some carrots some onions and some more strawberries so that's the process and I will obviously show you when it is finished if you're interested in the paint I'm just using the Cuprinol forest green wood paint I'm hoping it'll paint the metal because when I went to buy metal paint they only had black white or red um, and I don't want a red planter so we're gonna try that and Bear's looking a little doll over here hey Bear you're a good boy aren't you so we filled it with compost and I've done two coats of paint on this steel and one coat on the wood and this bit I think I can't remember if I said one or two coats I think he's had two actually that end panel um, and we filled it with compost and I think we've just decided we need a little bit more compost uh, this was nine bags so just might go and get a couple more bags and then we'll plant everything but it's quite a big planter it obviously has got a false bottom in it but it's still quite large so we underestimated how much we'd need and then I'm just going to finish painting these sides and then we should be done Abby's just watching the sheep on her own. You're watching the sheep on your own. You're so clever with Nanny and Auntie Maddie. You're so clever. There's a little lambs over here. You just peek through. There's a little one there. That's what she's watching. Nanny Tabs. Abby's decided to stand on the table. Tabitha, how did you get on there? Cheeky. Come on, let's get you down. Oh, it's quite high up that, isn't it? <laughs> there we go, these are the ones that just float on top of the water. Oh yeah. Just gotta hope the geese don't eat them. I'm assuming that's probably just their lunch in there. Hannah's putting well, some in round here. You can put a couple in it together at like a Don't time. fall, or do fall, it might be yeah. funny. That's the bets on the geese are just going to eat that. Well, not supposed to. Hopefully they don't. I've gone get me grappling up, Hannah. To be honest, all the videos we watched did only have we need to get this back fish. <laughs> Try again, Rob. Oh, one of my legs don't move, do <gasps> Oh, Hannah's oh, no. falling a hole. Hannah's fell in a hole, Rob's trying to get over the wire. <laughs> All oh, you've been frame quality. Are they going all right? Quite a They're what you see when you go to the Yeah. If you don't have the edge, it might be quite nice. How beautiful are you? Go and let the ducks out, then I'll do the dog poos. Then we'll do the goats who are all doing tricks right now. Look at that. Okay, so let's let these out. Hello, Lewis. It's okay, you want to get the ducks out? Oh, just come to hide by me. Let's get your duck friends out. Don't be nervous. <laughs> Three eggs this morning. You're alright, are you? Hello, princess. You waiting for me? It's been a little bit wet overnight, but not too bad. Hello. Hello. This is our feed bin. Filled with feed. Put some in there. Good boys. <laughs> Hello, princess. Good morning. Come on. Oh, and Charlotte. Hello. Good morning, girls. Good morning, girls. going to refill the cat food center um, sometimes I give them a gourmet pouch um, 
and then they have biscuits free flowing all day and they have their cat beds all up here and they have like carpet on here so that they're nice and comfy and then this is their bowls for their meat so I'm actually missing a bowl but there we go so now they've got biscuits fresh water and some leftover biscuits went in there and then I'll give them some meat when they come in now I need to fill the dog food tin up which we use Guru pet food this is their soap and turf recipe so I'm just going to tip that in the tin hello Oh, do you want your golf ball? My favourite toy. Have a golf ball. Oh. You got a reindeer? Good morning. I thought today I'm going to get the boys out and show you them in the garden because you've probably not seen them out in the garden in a while. So, they just had the breakfast. Come on boys, you alright Huckle? Come on, come on boys, hello, hello, hello my babies. Here's Arnold, Huckle, all eating in the plants. You're so clever. Hey boys, you watching the ducks? <laughs> Uncle Barry's watching the ducks. Just eating all the plant. That's what they do best, eat weeds. <laughs> Come on Uncle Barry. Good morning, sun is shining and we've just been to B&M, picked up some flowers for the hanging basket so we're gonna do them now and I thought I'd grab the camera. Oh they're already sweating. So mum's just getting everything ready over here. Do you need scissors did you say? Yeah. I'm gonna grab some scissors and we'll get some planting done. So we've gone for these bedding plants, I'm not going to pronounce it because I can't. And we've got some ivy and this is our uh, hanging basket from the front of the house. We've just got some new liner okay. which apparently is made out of coconut or something. Yeah, um, I've got compass, I've got compass from my old strawberry uh, planter because we might as well reuse some of that. And then we've just got two pots of these and then three ivies. So. We've got this one that we want to do mainly and then we have got one up on the back of the house that we want to do as well but depending on how many flowers we've got left over I'm just going to chop this cable tie off because that is really annoying um, then we're just going to fill it all up we've just put these bags down on the table to protect the table because we have a puppy around don't we Tails? and she will be digging in this before we know if it was on the floor I don't even know where the puppy is puppy where's the puppy oh she's under the table she's under the table there's the puppy I was saying about. She's eating a lamb's ear at the moment and we're lining the big basket. Excuse the aeroplane. And we've just got this plant from the front border that we're gonna put in as well. Now putting some soil in. This is the leftover soil I had from the strawberry planter. Should you be doing that? Do you want me to do the heavy bit? No, no. Once it gets a bit left. I'm starting with this. Do you know what it is? Is it like some plum of ivy? It's just like a rockery plant. I think it's got a name for it. I can't remember. It it's is. got purple flowers on it. Oh, it's yeah. like the one that's in that one over there. Yeah, and it's just in the border out the front, but I don't know whether it'll take, but I can try. Let's, hopefully it does, because it looks really nice. So we're going to try that, and then we're going to plant this... Uh, I'm still not going to say what it says. It's um, Mesobrianthium. Mesobrianthium, I'm saying. I have no idea. So these are the bedding plants in. They're not flowered yet. And we've got the ivies and then the rockery plant. Looks good. So this is our hanging basket that's going on the back of the house. It's got a poppy in it that was already established from uh, a year ago now. And the ivy on the side here and then some of those bedding plants in here. Um, obviously when they're flowered they'll look nice at the minute they're sort of like a muddy mess. 
and then we've got some left over. I could get bitten by horse flies. Um, these ones I was going to put back where the poppy was. This is mum's, looks much tidier. Um, but I think this one looks nice with the colour in it and then the pink flowers should come up around I the poppy. It looks nice, but the, the pink will go nice with it, won't yeah. it? So it needs a water, Tabby's helping. Alright, let's take it out the front. Now she's having a bit of titivating. And obviously you can't see them. Yeah. You should do because it's done door. But then they'll come up. Any other thing we can do is make them. This is what it looks like out the front. Got all the green. So I just got my delivery from Paul. Ah! Excuse you there. From Paws.com and I got some treats for little monkey here. Yeah. <coughs> yes, a fair no. For little monkey here and these blankets here, they're from Paws when they used to be called Fetch. And I've just got the last one of five, so they've all got matching to match all the dog beds. I've got five beds, five blankets. And these are all just for training for tip taps. So we've got four for you, put them up. Just got some cat food as well, but I've just put that in the garage. Also got Tabby this uh, dog ball, which you can fill with treats, and then they roll it around. So I'm going to try that with her now and see if she likes that. Plus, are we at the park? Come on, here. We've got Tabby and Flossie, which is Grandma and Granddaughter. 